So this is basically the speaker that I'm going to be using. As you can see, it is very dusty. It's never been used. Um, yeah, it's literally, it's what we're gonna... Oh, you stupid piece of... What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to a brand new episode of I Did This and This Happened, where we make music in the most uncommon ways as possible, and sometimes the result backfires on us in the most craziest ways. In this video, we are using a speaker to record our music. And before you say anything, yes, you can use a speaker to record music. It is basically a microphone in reverse. It works the same way. And a microphone is basically a speaker in reverse, just with extra steps. All a microphone has to do really is pick up the acoustic vibrations from whatever you're playing. Say for example, you're singing. Your singing emits acoustic vibrations and the microphone is meant to pick that up and then transfer it as electronic impulses to was the interface or to the computer so that's how it works if you would like me to go more in depth in how a microphone works and the history of it all let me know down below in the comments so this is basically the speaker that i'm going to be using as you can see it is very dusty it's never been used um yeah it's literally it's what we're gonna oh you stupid piece of my apologies for that Here's the speaker again, let's hope it doesn't fall this time. So as you can see, it's very large, large diaphragm everything. It's going to have a lot more low end because the diaphragm is a lot bigger than a normal microphone diaphragm. The microphone diaphragm is very small so it's able to pick up the voices or the instruments a lot better. And sound, it, will, it basically sounds more sensitive. It's more sensitive. This is not as sensitive. It's going to have more low end and it's going to sound much more dry, I suppose. Is that the correct term? I think, yeah. However, with some studio recording magic, we will make it sound as professional as we can, as if it was made by some guy which records, I don't know, Hollywood singers? After long detailed research, I found out and came to the conclusion that the only music that will really fit with recording through a speaker is country! We're gonna use an acoustic guitar and bass! And drums. For the vocals, we are going to use some hillbilly country folk singing, kind of like I'm whining about the country and the good old days instead of embracing the future. For the guitar chords, we are going to use the same chords that has made almost every musician famous. It goes like this: E minor, C. How is it that that chord progression makes everyone famous? Maybe if we use that in this song, the song will blow up. Who knows? For the drums, we are going to use the same type of drum beat that is found in Celine Dion's My Heart Will Go On. I don't know why, but almost every country song has that kind of beat. It's like they're trying to be sad about something when there's nothing to be sad about. Except, you know, our inevitable walk to death. Oh no! For the bass, I don't know, I think I'm just gonna wing it. I don't think you need a lot of IQ to really play bass unless you know you're doing like some serious slap like what Daily 504 does and Victor Wooten and those those serious slappers where they're like... Okay, I can't play like that, but... Eish, no, 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 hectic. For the lyrics, I am using everything that you'll find and hear in a typical country song like tractors, cowboy, horses, dawn in sweetheart, barns, farmlands. Name something else. As long as I have that typical whining sound in my voice that I'm missing the countryside. To record all of this, I am going to need to put the speaker incredibly close to the source of the sound. So if I'm singing into it, I need to sing like this. So I can, uh, you know, pick it up better. I'm not gonna shout, I'm gonna sing like I'm a country singer. I'm gonna sing louder though, so it picks me up better. For the bass, it's going to need be it's going to need to be pretty close. For the guitar, it's going to be need to for the bass and the guitar, it is going to need to be close so it picks it up better. For the drums, not so much because the drums are just incredibly loud on their own. So this can literally be put outside and will still pick up the drums. I'm going to spend five minutes off camera recording this and no longer. track 
drifter into the sunset Where the jagged hills down And the blowing fields surround I'll rob my old troubles with you by my side Always stay adorable Always stay you This life will surely the entire video and you are helping push my videos out further so that YouTube can send it to more people so that more people can watch my content and I can eventually get paid for this Oh no! because this is a lot of work so thank you so much for watching this I need you guys to like and subscribe ring the notification bell also leave a comment next week I will reveal the best commenter goodbye